Purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at Purposely.com. One of the things I always quoted to my kids when they were growing up was Mr. Churchill. I would say, what does Mr. Churchill say? And they would say, never, never give up, Mom. But sometimes they would actually get excited to say it with me. Welcome to the Bible for Busy People. I'm Erica, your host, and we are continuing in our series called God's Medicine Cabinet. And today we're filling the prescription for not giving up. Jesus actually tells a story in the Bible, and he starts it like this. Join me in Luke chapter 18, beginning in verse 1. One day, Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up. There was a judge in a certain city, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly saying, give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while, but finally he said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant requests. Then the Lord said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge. Even he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly. But when the Son of Man returns, how many will he find on the earth who have faith? Yes, Jesus, our Lord, is the opposite of the unjust judge. Jesus cares about you deeply, so deeply. We talk about this a lot on this podcast, that he counts the hairs on your head. And we know how often this changes, like how often I look at my hairbrush and I'm like, look at Jesus knows those hairs are missing from my head. That's how deeply loved you are. You're so deeply loved that nobody else who ever lived or who will ever live has your same set of fingerprints. You are special and precious to God. If you're hearing this for the first time, I'm so thankful because it's the best news, isn't it? We live in a world where we're always on social media and we're looking at everybody else all the time. And sometimes it's easy to compare yourself to others. But I want you to know right now, God made you uniquely. You're custom made on purpose for a purpose in this old world. So while we're talking about never giving up, don't give up on yourself and remember how very loved you are. God has a vibrant love for you, and it doesn't fluctuate. His love is steadfast and continuous and unconditional. All right, I want to invite you to join me now in Hebrews chapter 12, because we are going to be talking about running a race. When we're waiting on God, so often it feels like a marathon and we want it to be a sprint. But when we are running a race, there's something God asks you to do. And it's something you can easily put into practice today. All right, you ready? Hebrews 12, verse 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people. Then you won't become weary and give up. After all, you have not yet given your lives in your struggle against sin. So here's our tip today. This is your prescription. While you're running the race and you're running toward the goal, whatever it is that answer to prayer you're seeking, whatever it is, keep your eyes on Jesus while you wait 
And something beautiful happens when you do that. Join me in James chapter 1, beginning in verse 1. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Now, what does it mean to be steadfast? It's a word we've used a couple times today. It means resolutely or dutifully firm and unwavering. Don't you want that kind of faith? That's what's being produced in you as you wait on the Lord, as you practice never giving up. I've got one more verse for you today, and it's probably the most encouraging of all. Normally, we don't read the King James Version, but wait for it. Here we go. Isaiah 40, verse 31. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. You know, it's different waiting for and waiting on, isn't it? Think about if you are a server in a restaurant, and I was when I was 18, you are waiting on people, you're serving them. Waiting for people, can you picture yourself looking at the time on your phone and tapping your feet a little bit impatiently? I want to wait on the Lord. I want to serve Him while I wait. I want my faith to grow while I wait. What's the prescription for this? Keeping our eyes on Jesus. Until next time, you are mightily loved. Thank you for making time for the Bible for Busy People today. If being part of this community is a blessing to you, it's super easy to share this podcast with someone you love. We're all about spreading the hope of Jesus like butter. So if you've got a moment to write a review, boy, we'd really appreciate that. Maybe you need a little prayer today or you're ready to take that next step with God. I invite you to check out our show notes. You're going to find lots of encouragement there. This podcast is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose.